hey guys so welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are keeping safe wherever you are today i'm gonna to be sharing with you how i prepare my vegetable soup but before we start cooking if this is your first time of coming across this video or this is your first time of seeing this channel my name is lovet you're welcome to my kitchen please consider subscribing click on the subscription button so that you get more updates from me and don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that each time I upload a new video because I upload videos every week. Each time I upload a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming around. Thank you very much for clicking. I appreciate each and every one of your presence here. So let me introduce you to the ingredient. Here I have my spinach already diced and washed. This is the goat meat I'll be using. I have some onions some salt, some crayfish, and some seasoning, some spices there. I have curry powder, parsley, thyme, beef stock, and some seasoning cube. Here I've got my stock fish, dry fish, and these are the seasonings I'll be using for the soup. This one is for the meat, and this one I'll be using this one for the soup. Here is my garlic and ginger paste. It's almost finished. Here I have some frozen spinach, and these are the vegetables I'm going to be using. And here is my oil. This is the oil I'll be using. And here I've got my bay leaf that I'll be using to cook the meat. So let's... Firstly, I'm just going to put the meat into the pot. And the stock fish that has been washed. The next thing is my onions, my bell leaves, the seasoning cube, the spices. garlic and ginger paste and I'll just stir it I'll just stir it very well to make sure all the seasoning and the meat are well combined and I'll leave it to cook for at least 10 minutes before adding some water So I'll cover it and allow it to cook. So this is 10 minutes later. The meat has been cooking for 10 minutes. Oh my god, you need to see the kind of you need to be here to see the kind of aroma that is coming out from this kitchen. The meat has been cooking for 10 minutes. So the next thing now is for me to add some water to the meat. Then cover it to cook properly. So the, I just added some water. The meat has been cooking for 10 minutes now. I have added a little bit of water to it. I will cover it to cook for 20 minutes and I will go ahead and wash my peppers. Now that I finished washing my pepper, I'll just go and blend it, but not too smooth though. So this is 20 minutes later. I'm just checking the meat to see if it is still very hard, though it's still a little bit hard. So I'm just going to be leaving it for 10 minutes to soften a bit before I will transfer it to the oven. So let's just cover it and let it cook for extra 10 minutes. 
water into it so that it will wash away all the dirt. I'll pour it and leave it for just let me say 10 minutes. I will leave. You can see this is 15 minutes later. I just transfer everything to my grilling tray. I'll just go and put it in the oven and allow it to grill at least for 10 to 15 minutes before using it for the soup. I'm just going to add some oil into my pot. Now that the oil is hot, so the next thing is to add my peppers. Five minutes now. Now I'm just going to add my seasoning, curry powder, thyme, and beef stock. Seasoning cube. My crayfish powder. The stock fish. The dry fish. And stay. Over. So this is the goat meat not too dry. It's okay for me like this. I'll just let it fry for two minutes before adding the vegetable. Have you seen why I did not add water to this soup? The spinach has released its water and it's okay exactly the way I want it. Assuming I add more water, it should have been watery and I don't like that. I don't like too much of I don't like too much of water in my vegetable soup. So it's perfect like this. Meanwhile, if you are still watching up till now, please just go ahead and click on the like button and subscribe if you have not, please. It will help this channel to grow. Okay? If you like this video and you like the way I prepare this soup, please give me a thumbs up. 
and do not forget to click on your bell notification so that you get more updates like this from me every week i upload video every week so that you get more updates the soup is ready